Preparations are underway in Muskegon County for President Trump's rally on Saturday. It is expected to draw a big crowd, raising concerns over the spread of COVID-19. News 8's Joe Lafergie is live at Muskegon County Airport, where that rally will happen. Joe? Yeah, see, so, well, you can expect a large outdoor gathering of people spaced out across the tarmac. Now, outdoors and space, two key words here, two words that are making one local health official breathe a little bit easier. At Muskegon GOP headquarters, volunteers prepare for Saturday's visit, but with little worry about catching coronavirus. We'll be outside. We'll be socially distanced as much as possible. I'm understanding we're going to be required to have masks. But with their leader's rhetoric on masks and other COVID-19 related issues, will supporters follow the rules? Now, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that they're going to follow um, the, the safety precautions for themselves as well as everybody else involved. Kathy Moore is health officer for the Muskegon County Health Department. She says the venue owner has assured her the rules under the latest executive order for the state will be followed. That order allows large outdoor gatherings of up to 1,000 people, as long as there's room for social distancing and everyone wears a mask. Moore knows some of the crowd will disagree with the rules. But I think for the most part, I think more of them believe that they should stay the distance. They want to support the president, but they also want to say, stay safe. And she has a message for Trump supporters, no matter where they fit into the mass debate. Regardless of um, feelings, uh, one way or another, please continue to practice safety measures. Now, we reached out to the campaign to get an idea of just how many uh, people they expect here at the rally on Saturday, but we haven't heard back from them. Live in Norton Shores, Joe LaFergie, News 8. The president is expected to speak at 5 o'clock on Saturday. We will air that entire rally live on WOTV4 and WoodTV.com.